Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make multi-user login system in PHP. So multi-user login means when a user login, it will take the user to user base and when a admin login, it will take the admin to another admin base. And I'm going to show you everything step by step from the very beginning. So we are going to use email and password for login. If you want, you can also use name and password for login as well. And I'm going to show you everything step by step from the very beginning. So first of all, I'm going to create a login form. So let's go back to our code. And here in the home folder, I'm going to create login.php. So I'll just right click on the home folder, then click new file. And our file name will be login.php, control S, then save. So here, let me just say simple HTML tag. And here in the body, I'm going to say HTML to let's say login form if we now set this and here you can see our login.php is inside the form folder so i'm going to say here ecom our folder name is home folder slash login.php press enter and there you can see it says login form so what we we'll do is that when we click on this login option it will take us to the login base because that make more sales so for it, uh, let me just go to our index.php and here you can see the login anchor tag. So here we are going to mention the folder name which is home slash with say login.php. Save it. Then refresh here. Click on login. There you can see it took us to login page. So let's go and create a form for login for it. What we are going to do is Let's go to login.php. For now, let me just remove this. Let's first mention a div. In this div, we are going to have a form. We we'll say here form. Then in the form, let's have another div. In this div, we are going to say here level. Level will be, let's say, email. And for this level, we are going to have an input field. So the input type will be email. Let's say name will be email and let's make it required so in this tip let's say here class let's say class name will be input underscore digit so let me just copy this tip and i'm going to paste it here so this one will be for password let's say here password and the type will be password and also name will be password as well let's say password and I made a spelling mistake, email. Okay. So right now we are going to have a login button. I mean the submit button. So here the type will be submit. Name will be login. And this of require, let's say here, hello, it will be login. So if you now save this, then refresh here. There you can see we have the email and the password field. So let's have it in the center and let's also add some design as well. So first of all, uh, here you can see input underscore dg. So we are going to write some CSS. So we'll write some CSS in our style.css file. So first of all, we need to link our style.css. So in order to link it, we need to say here link. Then we are going to say here style.css. CSS and the thing is our login.php is inside the home folder. So style.css is outside the home folder. So we need to give a dot dot slash here. So if you give dot dot slash then style.css it means right now we have access to this style.css. So right now we are connected with that style.css and in the previous tutorial we created the registration page design. Let me just show you. Here, if I click on register, there you can see we created a design like this. So, and all those design is inside the style.css. And here, uh, if you go to our style.css, and if you just put down a little bit, there you can see we write some CSS for input underscore design, which is this one. And we also write some CSS for this level as well. Uh, here, you can see input underscore D DG level as well. There is also some CSS for the input type text, email, uh, number and password and also for the submit button. So I'm going to give this CSS code in the description if you want. 
and here you can see my form so i'm just going to copy this name my underscore form and i will paste this over here in this div we'll say here my form if we now save this and let me just go to our login.php and here you can see it will look like this so let's go and have a login form text here so just like before over here i'm going to say here h2 and we'll say login form and in the register.php uh here you can see inside h2 we say registration form and in stein.css here you can see we write the css for my form is today for this one as well so if we now refresh it will look like so right now what we'll do is that when we give our email address and give some password then click on login it will take us to user base or admin page so for it what we need to do is really simple first of all we are going to go to our login.php and here uh, in this form we are going to say here action action will be empty and here we are going to say here method method will be forced so we are going to write the code for login in the same place that's why we write action is empty so what we do is that we will go at the top and at the top of our login.php we are going to write some php port so we say here php opening then the php closing and inside this first of all we need to connect our login.php with our database so for it let me declare a variable let's say dollar con equal to my sqli underscore connect and we are going to say here local host then give a comma then we are going to give our database username which is root by default and the by default the password is null and after that we need to give our database name and our database name is uh, let me just show you here you can see php underscore ecom this one so i'll just copy this and paste it here so once you write this it means we are connected to the database so first of all what we are going to do is that we will check whether someone click on this login button or not so for it we are going to give a if condition if to first bracket is set then we will say here dollar underscore post and inside this to single quotation here you can see our name is login so we are going to check if someone click on that login button so if someone click on this login button first of all what we do is that we will get the input field data from here so let me just declare a variable let's say dollar u underscore email equal to we'll say dollar underscore post and here we set this single position okay we need to say here email i made a spelling mistake here so here you can see name equal to email so we we'll copy this and we we'll paste it here after that let me just copy it paste it here and here we are going to get the password let's just say here dollar pass and here you can see we need to say here name is password so i'll just copy this and paste it here so the email and the password is in this variable right now we are going to write a sql query so we say here dollar sql equal to we say select star form we need to mention our table name and our table name is user let me show you just so you don't get confused here you can see our table name is user so we say here select star form users we say here fire we are going to match it with the email and password for our database so here you can see email and password so we are going to set the email on the table equal to we'll give to single quotation like this then we'll give to the double quotation like this then we need to give two dot okay and this is this double quotation is for this all so inside this we are going to say here you underscore email and we are going to check so we'll say here and 
we need to say here password and this will come from the database which is uh, this one okay so password it will be equal to again we'll give to single quotation inside it we'll give to double quotation then we'll give to dot here so inside this we are going to mention this dollar pass and we need to end this with a semicolon so here we are checking in the user table whether the input email and password exist in the table or not it exists uh, let me declare another variable let's say dollar result equal to we need to say here my sql i underscore query then to first bracket and here we need to mention this database connection which is con comma we need to mention this sql so we'll say here sql after that we are going to declare on another variable it will be let's say dollar row equal to we say here my sqli underscore fetch underscore array then to first bracket and here inside this to first bracket we are going to keep this dollar razor so if the email or password existed in the table or not we will have this in this dollar row variable so right now we are going to give a if condition so we are going to say here if to first bracket to second bracket like this and we are going to say dollar row and using the dollar row first of all we will check whether the user type to login is user or admin so first of all for it let me just go to my table and here you can see user so here i am going to insert a data so just go to the user table then here you can see insert option click on insert let's say her name is admin and the email is admin at the dot gmail dot com password will be on to three four five six phone is standard phone number address is canada and let's say the user type will be admin so if i now click go it is inserted and there you can see we have the admin user and here you can see the user type is admin there you can see user type so using the user type we are going to determine whether a user will go to the user page or admin page so when you are creating the user table make sure you have name email password field and also the user type field okay so using the user type we'll decide whether a user is admin or not and which page the user should go so let's go back and inside this row we are going to say here user type then we'll give here equal equal whether it is user or admin so first of all let's say user if the user type is user we're going to say here we're going to send the user to the user page so we'll say here header then to first bracket we'll say here location cloned and the location will be let's say in the phone folder we will have the user phone page so we we'll say here phone slash let's say user page dot php and we need to keep this inside to double quotation then let me just copy this if condition and paste it here and this will be the else condition so if we say here else if if the user type is admin then we'll send the user to admin page so let's say here admin slash admin page so we do not have this pc file so we need to create those file so let me just extract it again so here you can see user type is user and admin and we are just giving that condition here if the user type is user send the user to this space and if the user type is admin send the user to this space and if nothing matches we'll say here else and we'll just print something equal let's say here username or password is wrong so let's go and create those pc files so in the home folder let's get user page.php so here you can see home folder so i just right click then click new file i'm going to say here user page.php control s then save 
here I'm going to say simple HTML and in the body let's say here age on this is user page and after this I'm going to create a admin folder and in the admin folder we're going to create admin page.php so I'm just going to click on my project name then click on new folder and the folder name will be admin in the admin we are going to create admin page.php so i'll just click on admin then click on new folder new file i'll say here admin page.php control s then save so here i'll say html and in the body let's say this is admin page let's save it and let's go back to our browser like we refresh here and here you can see we have an email called test at the of gmail.com so we say here test at the of gmail.com and the password is on two three four five six seven eight on two three four five six seven eight and click on login we can not found so here you can see home slash home so the thing is this login.php is already inside the home folder so that's why we do not need to mention the home slash here so let me just save it here let me just go back refresh and here let's say test at the of gmail.com password on 2345678 click on login and there you go it says this is user base so right now let's go and try to login to the admin page so let's go back and here we're going to say admin at the end of gmail.com and the password for admin os all to three four five six on two three four five six click on login and i made another mistake and that is our admin folder is not inside the home folder so what you need to do is that before this admin we need to give dot dot admin because this admin folder is outside the home folder so let me just save it again let me go back refresh let's say they are admin on two three four five six click and here you can see this is admin page so first of all what you're going to do is that we're going to have a logout option here so for it let's go to our admin page.php and here i am going to mention an anchor tag in this anchor tag let's say here logout and let's just create a logout base so let's say here logout.php and let's say we will keep this logout.php inside this ecom folder project so we need to say here dot dot slash and again we will go to our user test so let me just copy this and let's go to our user page and we'll paste it here so in the logout.php we're going to let the user log out so let me just right click on my project folder then click on new file and our file name will be logout.php control s then save so here we're going to write some php code so let's keep the php opening then the php closing so inside this we're going to say session underscore start then we'll say session underscore destroy so this will remove the login credential and after that after destroying the login credential we'll send the user to the login page so we'll say here location they will go to the login page and our login page is inside the home folder so we said here home slash login.php so let's set this and if we now refresh here there you can see we have the logout option we could click on logout it will take us to the login page so let's go to the user page let's click the password click on login currently we are in the user page and if we click on logout it will take us to the login page now there is a issue that i would like to show here you can see currently we are not logged in and if we want to go to the admin page or user page we will be able to go and in the url if we just say here user page.php and press enter 
that you can see it it took us to the user page and at the same time if you say here admin slash admin page dot php and press enter it will take us to the admin page obviously we shouldn't have access to the admin page or user page without login so we need to add some security here in both admin and user page so for it what we are going to is that let's go back to the code and we'll go to login.php and here we are going to get the email address of the user whoever is trying to log in so we are going to send here dollar underscore session and here we are going to declare a variable let's say the variable name will be user underscore email equal to and here we are going to mention this dollar u underscore email and we'll paste it here so what will happen is that whenever someone giving an input this email address will be stored in this variable user underscore email and whenever you are using session it means those data will be sent to this location so i'm just going to copy this and paste it for this user type admin as well and whenever you are using session you need to add session start at the beginning so here after php i'm going to say here session underscore start you need that session start at the beginning if you want to add use session so right now since we have the email address in the user page.php so we can verify whether a user is logged in or not so for it uh, let will just go to the user page.php first and here i'm going to write some php code so let me keep the php opening here php opening then php closing and inside it we are going to give a if condition we say here if then we'll give a not sign then we we'll say here is set to first bracket then we we'll set dollar underscore session and here inside this to see condition we are going to mention this user underscore email and paste it here then we we'll give to second bracket so here you can notice that we said here the not sign it means if there is no session what we are going to do is that no session means if there is no email address it means we will send the user to the login base and our login base is inside the phone folder so we say here location and the location is home slash login and we are going to do the same thing for the admin page as well so let me just copy the php board code and we will paste it at the top of our admin page dot page and save it so right now let's go back and here you can see okay let me just go to the login page and if i just try to go to the user page from here let's say that user page dot php then press enter okay not found because i made the same mistake again and that is uh here you can see that i mentioned here bone slash login but we are already in the home folder so i just need to say here login okay i mean forget to give the dot php here so i also need to give dot php here and this admin page is inside the admin folder so if we want to go to the home folder we need to say here dot dot slash here let's save it so let me just go back refresh if i say here user page dot php and press enter it will keep us on the login base and also if i say here admin slash admin page dot php and press enter it will still keep us on the login base but if we try to log in we'll be able to go to that page let me click on login okay this will be admin at the top gmail dot com and the password click on login okay it's not working i think the mistake is we need to add session start at the beginning i forgot to add it so we need to say here session 
underscore start let me just copy this and I will paste it here in userplace.php as well set it so this time it will work let me just refresh here let's say here at being at that of gmail.com let's take the password click login it took us the login page and here let's go to test at the of gmail.com let's keep the password here click login then you can see we are able to go to that user base so now there is one more issue since currently i am logged in it means the user email exists so right now if i just send here a uh, home admin slash admin page dot php and press enter we'll be able to go to the admin page and if i say here home slash user page dot php press enter we'll be able to go to the user page so this shouldn't happen right so we need to solve this so the solve is very simple for it what you need to do is that let's go to our login dot php again and let me just copy this then paste it here so here we are going to check the user type here so we are going to say session user type is user and it say here user and let me just copy this and i'm going to paste it here and here i'm going to say user type is admin so here you can see user type is admin so again we're going to give a if condition for the user type in both admin page and user page so let's write the condition in the user page user page first so here we are going to say else condition else in and here in the else if we are going to check the user type so for it i'm going to say here is set then we we'll keep to first bracket here then we we'll set dollar underscore session then to third bracket to single position and inside this to single position we are going to mention this user type so we we'll say here user type and we'll check the user type if the user type is equally equal to so here you can see this is user test so we we'll say here admin if the user type is equal equal to admin then we'll send the user back to the login page so if a user is logged in and if the user is trying to go to a base why the user type is admin then it will send the user back to the login page so let me just copy this else condition and we are going to paste it in the admin page.php and here we are going to say instead of admin this tab will say here user type is user so if the user type is user and the admin is logged in then it will send the admin to the login base so here you can see user type this user type is this one just don't get confused user and admin and one more thing i made a mistake is that for this uh, we not need to have any is set so i'll remove this fast bracket and is set and also this fast bracket from here we'll do the same for the admin page as well so i can just copy this and paste it here and here let me just copy this header and paste it here location dot dot home slash login dot php and here i am going to say user stop admin so let's save this and let's go back to our browser let me refresh and let's say here test at the dot gmail.com let's give the password click on login then you can see currently we are in the user base and if we say here admin slash admin page dot com dot php and press enter then you can see it take us to the login page but we'll be able to go to the home slash user base if we want there you can see so let me just log into the admin dashboard so i'll give the admin then the password there you can see currently we are in the admin page and if we say here home slash user page dot php then press enter there you can see it took us back to the 
login page and if we give those empty and click on login it will say require but if we give a wrong email address and wrong password then click on login it will give us this error with the message username or password is from which we write in the login page uh, over here you can see in the else condition we write username or password is wrong so instead of showing the message over here like this we should show the message at the top of our login form so for it we are going to use say share so here let me just copy or i can just directly say here dollar unders underscore session then we do to third bracket let's say here message and the message will be this one username or password is wrong i'll just paste this here just let me use the echo and end it with a semicolon so inside this dollar underscore session message we have this message that username or password is wrong so i'm going to show this uh let's say before this login form so let me just say here uh age four tag and in the age four tag let me say here php opening then the php closing so inside this let's mention this dollar underscore session message and i will paste it here and before this i am going to say here echo dollar underscore session so if we save it and refresh here there you can see it says username or password is wrong and let's do one thing that is let's say uh, at the top we are going to say error reporting it will be uh, zero let's save it let's go to our browser let me refresh and there you can see it says username or password is wrong and if i click on refresh okay let's do one thing that is let's make the text size bigger here so it'll stop h4 i am going to say here h2 here save it then refresh here uh, there you can see username or password is wrong let me give a so there you can see we are able to go to different mails using different email address and password so there you can see two us to the admin page and if we say here test at the of gmail.com then keep the password here then click on login it will take us to the user base and user do not have access to the admin page and admin do not have access to the user base so this is how you can make multi-authentication in php i hope this video was useful to you if you have any question or any suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials